In this video, we're going to show you how we can build a full-fledged uh, data solution in under four weeks. So Prescient uh, builds data solutions using low-code uh, software. And there are many advantages to uh, using low-code software to do this. Uh, for example, this increases the development speed and therefore adoption speed. It reduces solution development cost because it reduces the amount of development time. And because it's low code, the solution can be taken over by your own employees. And it's easy to create a data-driven culture within or your organization with a low code software. In this video, primarily we're gonna show how fast we can build a low code data solution. The solution that we're gonna talk about is as shown in this figure here. It's a solution that gets data from instrumentation, uh, such as analytical instrumentation, locally inside a lab environment. And there is a edge computing device that collects the data from the instru instruments and then process the data and generate insights. Those insights are stored in a cloud database and a dashboard is used to display the insights. There is the low code uh, solution manager software that builds the solution, deploys the solution, manage all the devices. So this is a pretty complicated um, solution here for a uh, instrumentation OEM. And we're able to do this project within four weeks. So week one, we ship the edge computing hardware to the OEM. The OEM sets up the hardware in their internal lab, connecting that hardware to just one of their instruments. So, so this hardware, once it turns on, it calls our solution manager. And now we can deploy low code data solutions to this hardware through our software. And the task for week number one is to build the data connectors that speaks to the instruments and collects data from them. This requires to understand the data API of the instruments so that we can build that proprietary, you know, that data connector for this proprietary um, instrument. Um, and because it's low code, we could do this very fast. Week two, once we have the data connector, we can now collect test data from the instrument and we can examine the test data to understand its structure so that we can build the right database schema and structure for storing that data, as well as the events data that we would generate from the raw data. The events data are basically data that's constructed based on the raw data coming from the instruments. For example, the instruments produce uh, status data, say every 10 seconds. And what the our software does is to look at that data um, at every 10 second interval and try to determine if there is a test going on. If, if there's a test going on, when is the start time? When is the end time? Who is the operator? What are the errors, errors produced during the test, et cetera. So each test is an event in this particular application. And we generate all the events successful tests, failed tests, aborted tests, et cetera, et cetera, and store that into the database. In week three, now that we have the data connector, we have the event data layer, we have the database structure, um, our uh, OEM uh, deploys the solution to their customer's lab. Now their customer's lab is a real active lab doing real experiments 24 seven. So we're now collecting real data, a lot of data. So we can understand what's in the data, try to understand what the customers are looking for in the data, how to build the dashboard, 
so that the customers can visualize what they need to see. Um, all that happens in week three. In week four, that's where we complete the dashboard development. Um, we have insights generated for the customer for them to visualize. We verify the data results through a separate mechanism where we built actually a separate script to collect all the data, generate the insights, and compare that with a low code solution to make sure um, everything works correctly. Now we give customer access to the dashboard so they can see their lab um, conditions uh, in real time and you can they can measure the performance of their lab. So now we have a complete solution for the customer that they can use. What happens next? Typically what happens next is that there's another phase where we really wanted to work very closely with the end customer, getting their feedback to understand how they want to visualize data, what insights they want, what kind of actionable things we can help them to build to improve their operator performance, um, to uh, increase their efficiency and throughput. Um, typically what happens is that you would get a lot more information from the customers. Therefore, it is very valuable for you to work very interactively for, with the first uh, couple of customers to, uh, to optimize your data solution. Once that's done, um, we can release production solution version 1.0. Um, and now you can scale that solution to many different customers. Phase two typically um, takes about another four weeks. So going from initially the project start to getting the first um, data uh, solution version out takes about four weeks. Then it takes another four weeks for you to get pr to production. This is really fast as compared to a traditional software development-based solution where um, you probably wouldn't even have phase one done um, until four to six months uh, into the project. Um, and the, the customer iteration is also a lot slower because changing code takes much longer. So there's a lot of advantages using low-code solutions to, to build this type of um, data solutions. Um, and if you're interested to understand more of the process, as well as the benefits, um, please contact us. Thank you.